Hello friends, it's Carla back today with Creative Scrapbooker Magazine and today we're making a beautiful Valentine easel card. We've got some shimmer and shine and a little bit of sparkle and lots of hearts and lots of pink. So let's get started looking at what we're going to use today. We have some Prism Studio nesting dies. We've got hearts and squares and circles which are nested and then we have a beautiful set of colored pencils there's two layers to these and they blend beautifully for coloring we also have some reversible tweezers from prism studio some ulfa scissors for fussy cutting we have a Nouveau paintbrush here and a Zebra Pen mechanical pencil. I have the Prism Studio holder for all the tools that I'm using. It's very handy. And then we have the Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Inks in Kitsch Flamingo, Picked Raspberry and Spun Sugar. Here's some Ranger embossing ink and white embossing powder and the Robin's Nest Dewdrops. We also have some Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L Adhesives that we'll be using today. I brought in some Stampers Anonymous stamps. These are really great rubber, red rubber stamps, and they make a really lovely impression. We're combining a few different sets today for my stash. And we have a Sizzix embossing folder. It's a little mini one with flowers on it. It's very cute. So I have the Prism Studio watercolor paper that I've die cut with one of the square stitched nesting dies. I'm going to stamp a, an embossed image using these beautiful floral and uh, text stamps. So I'm using the Ranger embossing ink. It's a clear embossing ink and it is sticky so it is going to hold the embossing powder. I have some white Ranger embossing powder that I'm putting on to my image and you can kind of see in the light there that it only sticks to where I've stamped. Then I'm using the heat tool and this melts the powder and it's going to create a resist so we can do a little bit of a watercolor background. And here I'm just going ahead and doing the other side too. It doesn't have to be a perfect image, it's just a background. So I'm doing a little bit of a smooshing technique here on the white craft mat and putting down those three pink ink colors spraying with water and then I'm starting off by just laying the embossed piece into the wet ink. After that dried slightly I'm using the paintbrush to pick up the wet ink and I'm putting that over various areas. And like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's just our background. We are just going to see that there's a little bit of script there, a little bit of flowers, and it's just a soft, pretty Valentine background. So we're going to put that aside to dry and make our easel card. I have the Prism Studio triangular bone folder. This piece of paper is eight by four and we're folding it in half at the four inch mark and then scoring it from the outer top right into the inside crease and that's going to create the easel so when we open our card it's going to stand up. I also have die cut a piece of white paper and that's going to be the inside of the card that we can write a message on and I'm going to add one of these little stamps. This Crazy Talk stamp has been around for a long time and Stampers Anonymous is uh, really awesome in that they keep their stamps around, which is really great. Uh, so if you're still looking for this, I'm sure you can probably still find it. There's lots of accessories 
and we're going to use the note quotes stamp you are my happy which i just love and i'm adding that to a black border and those are both cut with the circle stitched nesting dies we're adding some scrapbook adhesives by 3L foam tape and popping up that circle and that's going to hold our easel open. I've stitched the or stamped the little flowers from the crazy things set as well and now I'm coloring with those beautiful prism studio colored pencils. Even though we're coloring a really small image you'll be able to see that the, at the end it looks so pretty. The pencils really blend beautifully and they are very vibrant and they go on really nicely. Here's a look at our finished flower. Now we can cut that out with the Olfa cutting scissors. So these are actually little stitching scissors but they work really nicely for fussy cutting. Uh, they're nice and small so if you have a little craft kit that you take with you anywhere they're perfect to throw in that and uh, they are really nice and sharp. So we're just cutting around our image by moving the paper instead of the scissors and we get a nice clean cut. I have die cut a heart out of this beautiful Prism Studio foil cardstock and we are going to emboss the heart. This foil paper looks gorgeous when you use it in an embossing folder and I thought the little flowers were just perfect to add to this Valentine card. You can see how beautiful that is and how much the embossing is emphasized. I did want a little bit of a border, but I didn't want to use the larger heart die. So I'm turning over the same heart die that we used to cut the foil cardstock and I'm tracing around the outside and then fussy cutting that out. That's going to give us just a little bit of a border and it will look really great when it's layered on our easel card. So I've just grabbed the background again and I decided I wanted to add just a little bit more color around the edges. So I'm just adding that in to various spots and drying it and here's our finished background. This is going to go right on that bottom triangular area of the easel card and that's the only place you want to adhere it so that the easel card will stand up and you'll see in a minute once we put it together how that's going to stand up. So the middle heart gets applied there with some foam tape as well as those pretty flowers that we colored. Now we can put on some beautiful Robin's Nest Dew Drops acrylic embellishments and I love the glass bottles that they're in. I think they're so nice to display. We're using some micro adhesive dots from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. They just adhere to the back of the dot and then you can place them on your project. I also grabbed some Ranger stickles for just a little bit of glitter in the middle, middle of our flower. And here's our finished card. It is so cute and it will stand up beautifully to display. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you'll check out some of these fun products and I hope you have a very crafty day.